Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the next part of our projectile guide. And today we are going to be covering ARs. So in the first part, we covered all the pistols and all the SMGs. And now we're going to do every single AR. And next time, which I'm just going to try and upload two videos today, we're going to give you the sniper projectile guide as well. Okay. So I've got Toro with me today. Um, that's going that's helping me with the projectile guide. And basically he's just going to start with the shotgun guys. We, like I said, we spoke about SMGs and pistols, but we did not cover the sh shotguns. Okay. So he's going to, we're just going to do a shotgun test with birdshot, buckshot and slugs. And then we're going to go to the other arrows. So I've got nothing in my hands and I want to show you guys something that's very, very interesting here. So Toro shoot me once in the chest with birdshot. One, two, three. Okay, guys. Except for the fact that I only took 11% damage, I want you guys to look at this. Okay, birdshot. I'm not afraid of birdshot. This is why I'm afraid of birdshot. Okay? Because he destroyed everything. He destroyed my, my backpack to 20. He destroyed the hiking backpack to 24%. My two guns are at 4% and 17%. In, you know, my, my tactical jacket is destroyed. My shirt is destroyed. Okay? So do you have to fear a person with buckshot or birdshot with dying? No. Do you have to fear them that if they shoot you a few times, you will lose everything in your backpack and all your clothing? Yes. Okay? So don't run a away from a guy with a shotgun because he's going to kill you. Run away from him because he's going to destroy everything you have on you. Okay? Imagine you've got a key card on you. Imagine you've got an M82. You just found an M82. Or you just did a kill box. And he shoots. And people shoot you three times with buckshot. Everything gone. Everything 0%, everything unusable. Okay? Very, very important tip. Do not laugh at a person when he's shooting you with, uh, with birdshot or buckshot. Run or kill him as soon as possible. Because this is the, this is the worst thing about everything. Now I'm going to take... I'm glad I showed you guys this. But I'm not going to... You know, we're not going to lose any more gear like this. So I'm just going to put the hiking backpack there. I'm going to basically put everything that down, okay? And then we just focus on the damage. Whether I've got a shirt on or not, guys, it doesn't really matter. So it's 11% damage with birdshot. Now he's going to shoot me with one round of buckshot, and let's see how much damage that is. Okay, so that's dead, guys. That's dead. Um, he's going to revive me now, okay? So with buckshot, close range... You're going to kill the person. But again, it's not only it's not only the fact that you your gear is being destroyed. You have to think about it if you killing someone. But I want you to think outside the box. It's not about you running away from a person that's destroying all your gear. You have to think about this as well. If you see a, mili a, a fully geared person... <coughs> And you kill them with buckshot or birdshot. If you shoot them too many times, you won't get any loot from them. Okay? So it's not only to the guy that's being hit. It's to the guy that's doing the shooting. If you shoot someone with birdshot or buckshot, you are destroying all the gear that you could potentially get from that person. Okay? Of course, you're still going to get his two gu the gun in his hand. But everything he had on him is gone. Okay, if you shoot him more than two times or three times, okay, everything, everything is destroyed. You can't loot his hiking backpack, you can't loot anything on him. So then you just killed him to kill him. You didn't kill him for any loot. So take that into consideration as well. I'll be back right now and then we're going to test the, the, the slug. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, Toro just shot me with the slug. I'm dead again. Um, I have it logged out to log back in. Let's just see if the revival fails again. 
So yeah, um, I said I wasn't going to test the armor, guys, but I feel the armor is quite quite important here. Okay, we're not going to test it at a distance. A slug's still going to kill you without armor on. Okay, let's just see how you know, in what way the armor is going to help you. I'll be back now. Okay. Okay, guys, so just going to do a quick armor test. I've got the bulletproof vest. He's going to shoot me right in the chest, right in the center of the chest with buckshot. Okay, so buckshot kills you without armor, and a slug kills you without armor, close range. Now he's going to shoot me right in the chest. We see how much of a difference the bulletproof vest makes. Okay, Taro, shoot, buddy. Okay, so from death, you go to zero. And the buckshot only does 13% 13, 13 damage to the bulletproof vest, okay? I'm sure he can still kill me if he hits me in the legs, guys. But we're not going to test that right now, okay? I'm not going to test the tactical vest. Because clearly the tactical vest is going to let you survive as well. Now he's going to shoot me with slugs. Should I treat you first? No, no, no. Full... No, no, it's fine. You, you did no damage huh? to me, buddy. You did no damage to me. Okay. So now it's one slug in the chest. Slug. Tell me when. When. Okay. No damage, guys. So that is a 100% difference. Without armor, you die. Without armor, nothing happens to you. Okay? Quite a big difference, eh? Yep. That's why we need armor. <laughs> Okay, don't ask me why a slug is not penetrating a vest, guys. Okay, I don't know. Now, he's going to shoot me in the head. But before we use this one, let's use the normal one. Let's just use the normal one first before we use the, the strong one. Okay, so now he's going to shoot me in the head with slugs. Because I feel the buckshot will spread to my throat and then he's going to kill me. Okay, so just shoot me straight in the head with a slug. Um, slug. Sorry. Okay, slug on. Go. Okay, so where do you shoot a person that has got armor on? In the head or in the legs, guys? As simple as that. In the head or in the legs? And he's going to try and revive me now? Your head disappeared. <laughs> oh, yeah, he can't revive, he can't revive me when, my, when I don't have a head, guys. We'll be back now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to shoot me. Uh, we don't want to do too many head tests, guys, just to make this test a little bit shorter. And all you have to know is that a headshot is times five. Okay, so if 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 I'm getting more than 20% damage from a shot, then it will probably kill me, okay, in the head. So just, just know that a headshot is very, very powerful, but we will test at least one AR, and we will test at least one of the sniper rifles, okay? Just to make sure that headshots are potent again, which I know they are. So he's going to shoot me in the head. Oh, no, I've got a tactical vest on, guys, and I've got the best helmet in the game, okay? So I've got the best armor there is in the game. Now he's going to shoot me with buckshot in the legs, because the legs is the only spot that's open to him, okay? Shot, shoot me in the kneecaps, buddy. Center point in the kneecaps. Okay, box shot, kneecaps. Okay. Oh, good. That's good, guys. That's good. Shoot him in the kneecaps. Okay. I have now inject with Phoenix Tears. Option. Let's see if I wake up. There we go. We're awake again. Nice, nice. Let's lie okay. down to maximize the healing. Okay, guys. So, you see a guy fully armed. You've got buckshot or slugs. Just shoot him in the legs. Shoot him in the legs. Okay? And if you've got any other questions regarding shotguns, I'll test it off camera and answer you in the comments. Okay? Now, let's get to the AR projectile guide, which I'm very, very excited for. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start with the VSS. Then we, because we covered all the SMGs and pistols, guys. So, we're going to start with the VSS, then the ASVAL, then the M16, then the MK18, then the VHS, then the AKSU, and then the AK15, and then the RPK. Because I do feel the RPK is going to be exactly the same as an AK47, you know, or all the AK-47 variants. But I'm not sure about the AK-15. 
So I want to see if there's any, you know, any kind of difference on the AK-15. And as you guys can see, Phoenix Tears, OP. Okay, OP. So they destroyed my, destroyed my pants again. <laughs> so guys, okay. yeah, Buckshot. Buckshot is bad for everything, okay? I think, you guys, if you're using, if you're struggling to aim and you don't want to die, sure, use Buckshot. Don't use Birdshot. Birdshot poo-poo, you use that for animals, okay? But if you want to have a person's loot, shoot him with slugs, okay? Shoot him with the slugs. So we first gonna, now that we can wear, now that we can wear something again, no, I'm still not going to pick up. Buddy, put down your hiking backpack. Maybe we just, you know, maybe we're going to destroy. Oh, no, you can't put down the hiking backpack. Nor what I just told. Nor what I just said. Okay, guys. Right. So, de-equip your weapon that I can shoot you. Okay. I don't have armor on either. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to shoot him once in the chest, guys. And he's going to shoot me once in the chest. So that will tell us. We know both of the guns. The VSS and the AS Val has got a very high rate of fire. Okay. So let's just first see if these guns differ at all. Because they both shoot the same rounds, according to me. Toro, your gun shoots 9 times 39 as well, eh? Uh, my AS Val? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So both are the same rounds. Let's see if there's any difference with, with damage. So I'm going to shoot him once in the center of the chest. Oh, we too close. No, no, not too close. Oh. How much health you got left? I have 22, so you took me 78 health. Okay, so that's 78. Don't worry and about... And it's a C4 injury, yeah. Yeah, so guys, um, inject yourself, Toro, and then lie down quickly. Um, don't worry about the... We can see that it still does a heck of a lot of damage, guys. And don't worry about the double shot. It will sound like I'm shooting two shots. I'm not shooting two shots, guys. Okay? I'm just shooting one shot. And my barrel is empty, so we don't get confused about this. Okay? So 78 damage with one round is very, very, very powerful. Okay, very, very powerful. Now he's going to shoot me with one round because I think 78 is very, very high. It's just high, guys. I don't care if you shoot him in the arm or in the leg. 78 damage for with the rate of fire that these guns have is insane, actually. Okay, it's actually yeah, so insane. I also took 70, uh, 30 damage to all the clothes, like jacket, shirt, and undershirt. No, so Rest are okay. 30 damage to the clothing with one round. So we've clearly got a clothing problem. So and 10 to the backpack. <laughs> yeah. So if I shot him 10 times, it, you know, it would have been destroyed. But I think that's where the armor comes in. I'm not sure. I think that's where the armor helps you. But we will we'll check if the armor helps with that, guys. But, yeah, if any of you, I'll, you know, I'm going to make a bug video and a video that where I want, when I say what I want, you know, what improvements I think are very necessary in Scum. But if some of you guys are in permanent contact with the devs, just let them know, you know, the damage to the clothing is a bit rough. Okay? Um, it's a bit rough. Okay. okay. Full health. Now, he's going to shoot me in the chest with one bullet. With, a, with a as well. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, don't worry about the two shots. Don't worry about the two shots. You're just shooting one shot. So that's 80 damage, guys. So it's roughly the same. You know, it's two damage more. It's not, it's not that hectic, okay? So I'm just going to inject myself quickly here. So yeah, we're not worried about 2% damage, guys. All I'm worried about is it's 80 damage for a gun that has an extreme high rate of fire, which is insane to me. Okay? Sit down. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna check what the the MK18 and the AKs do. But if those guns are roughly the same damage, guys, then you know, of course, on raw damage, I think the AS Val is going, the AS Val and the VS is going to win with raw damage output. That's why I say I don't want to waste time testing the armor, but we have to take the armor into consideration. Okay, but if I'm using an AS Val. 
and we're going to test the armor now. If I see that I lose too much damage into armor, but I know the rate of fire is insane, I'm just always going to shoot for the legs. Like, guys, I just think the legs are the in thing today, you know, at the moment, until they give us leg armor. But yeah. if, I, if I see the damage reduction with armor, you just want to shoot for the head and the legs. That's it. You never want to shoot a person in the chest when he's got armor on. Okay? It's as simple as that. Unless he doesn't have armor on, like these PvPers that run around you naked, okay, because they're just stashing their loot everywhere, you shoot them wherever you want, okay? Because they don't have armor on. <laughs> and it's quite a lot, there's quite a lot of them that run around naked, so you guys don't have to worry about them. You do have to worry because they're running around naked for a reason, um, because if they shoot you, they take all your loot. If you shoot them, you don't take anything except their gun, so take that into consideration. But yeah, guys, I feel it's necessary to test this, okay? So we both, we all know the tactical vest is the same as the bulletproof vest. It just gives you more coverage. But, and we know that his bullet is doing the same damage as my bullet. So let's see what, what difference the armor makes. So Toro hit me once in the, in the chest with one bullet. Just a normal bullet first, and then we do it armor, armor piercing bullet. In the chest, let's go. Okay. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane, guys. It's insane. One damage. One percent oh, damage. Yes. That's okay. a lot. <laughs> a lot of difference. Baby. It's, yeah, it's too much. It's too much difference. Okay, but in any case, okay, hit me with the armor piercing round. Load one armor piercing round. Okay. In the chest. <laughs> oh my word. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I don't know what's going on here. But if you guys were wondering what effect armor has, there we go. That's the effect of armor. Okay. Toro hit me in the leg. One shot in the no. leg. Normal armor arm piercing. No, normal round. Uh, no. Normal no. round in the leg. Kneecap. Okay, guys, so that was about... Let's get it precisely. In the leg. Okay. So I'm just focusing on the leg. You see, there we see all the damage. There we just see that. So I just want to focus on the leg damage. So I click on it. That is 40 damage in the leg. So it's your choice. Do you want to shoot the guy 200 times in the chest? Or do you want to shoot him three times in the legs? Or do you want to shoot him once in the neck? Or do you want to shoot him twice in the head? Okay? It's all up to you. But that's why I say, at the moment, the meta for scum at the moment is definitely the legs and the head. Okay? Because it just seems like the armor is overpowered. That's why I didn't want to test armor, because they're going to revamp all the armor. Okay? But still, it still makes a major difference. Okay? Um, how much difference do I... Oh... Okay, sorry, I just have to inject myself here quickly. Um, how much difference, Matthias? You can see how much difference. But, I mean, um, Toro, grab a stab proof. They're out of the pile there, go grab a stab proof. Let's see, you know, let's see if a stab proof makes any difference. Can't see you anymore. No, I'm lying down, I'm lying down. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's also a good way to survive, guys. Act dead. Just lie down. <laughs> <laughs> if a guy shoots you, you're going to lie on the ground. Ah, I'm dead. Maybe he believes you, maybe he does. Of course, on SE, it won't work, guys. There's a kill feed. Okay, so don't try that with the kill feed. Any servers with kill feeds, don't act like a possum. He's probably just going to kill you. <laughs> okay, so I'm healing here, so that's fine. So we're going to shoot him now with one round. Hold on, take my gun off. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to hit him with one normal round here. Okay. Okay, you've got 100 health, I thought. Yeah. Now I have 74. 
26. 26. Okay, guys. So the stab proof vest doesn't. Okay, stab proof vest is much weaker than a than a bullet proof vest. If you guys really think there's a difference between a tactical and a you know and a bulletproof, let let us just get that out of the way right now. Okay, let's just get that out of the way right now. I know there's someone going to be in the comments that say, I've got master knowledge and this is, you know, there is a difference. So let's just counter that quickly. Okay, I've got a bulletproof vest on. Tara shoot me once in the chest with... I don't know. Okay. Uh, with what? I, I as well, armor piercing. Nice fell. Armor piercing. In the chest. So I'm just going to prove to you guys there's no difference between a tactical and a bulletproof. Okay. In the chest. There I get 8% damage. Are you serious? Are hmm. you serious? Really? Okay. Okay, so I'm wrong. But it's a bit of a difference. Yeah, but that thing had that thing had less durability. Let's see if the durability affects it. Okay, guys, so I got eight percent damage there. It's only a C1. Got seven point six damage. Okay, hit me in the chest again, but now I've got a hundred percent durability. Um ballistic vest. Hit me once in the chest. But normal or oh, you did all the piercing last. Yeah, armor oh, piercing now. Armor piercing again. Okay, so it's the same. Okay, guys, that's how we learn. That's how I learn, okay? Tactical vest not over, only covers more, but it does give you more protection as well. Okay? Now, now all of us know. According to me, previously it was the same, which is more coverage. But now, the tactical vest makes a huge difference. So, if you ask me, and you want to build strength in any case, guys, not like we don't want to build strength, just wear a tactical vest, okay? Does it look, does it look, it doesn't look that cool, but if you don't like how it looks, just put a, gi a ghillie suit, you know? Just get to put a ghillie top over it, and then you won't see it anymore. So, guys, yes, guys, um, stab proof, very weak. Um, bulletproof, still strong. But not as strong, clearly, okay? And less coverage. Tactical, stronger, and more coverage. But like I say, they are going to revamp the armor system. But for now, today, which is the 20th of October, 2022, after the 0 0.75 update, this is the situation right now, okay? Can't look into the future. So let's just take the data that we have now. So... You want to shoot them in the head or in, or in the legs, and we got 78 damage with both these rounds. So let's let's step up to the other rounds. I'm going to be very disappointed, guys. There's got, two things are going to happen. If the AR, if the AK, if the M16 or the AK18, MK18 does same or or less damage than the ASVAL, then the ASVAL beats any AR. Okay, we can see how much the AK does well. I highly doubt an AK is going to do 100 damage with one round. Okay, so at the moment, the ASVAL and the VSS wins. But until we put armor on and we we, we saw that the that the bloody ASVAL and VSS has basically no penetration. So if the if the 556 and the you know the AK rounds have more penetration, then that puts them ahead. Okay, but if you always shoot a person in the legs or the head, then I'd rather take an ASVAL or a VSS, I'm honest with you. Okay, that's just my honest opinion. Even if there's more penetration with an with 556 five, ammo, you know, and AK ammo, I'm still gonna feel safer with the rapid rate of fire that the VSS has. And I mean, look at look at that flashlight, guys. Look at that flashlight, eh? Look at how beautiful that looks, in any case. And, uh, I mean, most of them have automatic suppressors, eh? I think both of them have suppressors on them. Oh, uh, VSS has. Okay, but the, uh, no, the ASVAL has a suppressor on it already. Did you put the suppressor on the, on the ASVAL? 
no, I don't have one. Yeah, so it is suppressed. Both of these guns are suppressed. No, I think you have to put it. The VSS is factory silenced. That's suppressed. Shoot yours. I don't have anything on this gun. My shot was suppressed. Shoot yours. Hold on. Load it. That's suppressed. Both of them are suppressed without having needing suppressors on them. So you get a suppressor immediately and you and your rate of fire is higher. And if you don't shoot people in, in the armor, you're going to kill them probably just as fast as any AR or any AK. Which we will still see. But like I say, I highly doubt 5.56 and AK ammo is going to do a lot more than 80 damage in the chest. Okay? I doubt it, but we can see. So... Let's move on to the ARs, guys. I'm going to start with the M16. I'm going to load one. I'm going to load one round into it. One five five six round. And he's going to use the MK18, and he's going to load a single round. And then both of us are going to drop our armor on the floor. Okay. And then he's going to de-equip his gun quickly. I'm just going to eject myself quickly to make sure I get to 100 health. I'm okay. Okay. You 100 health, eh? Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, this one has got a suppressor on at least. We don't need to test the suppressor now. Okay, three, two, one, go. So it's 78, 79 health gone. I need to use the Phoenix. Okay, so it's the same damage as the VSS, guys. Same damage as the VSS. Okay, and... Just Let me check what you destroyed. No, it's not. Uh, 30, 30, the same on the clothes, on chest. 30% gone from them. Okay, guys, same damage. Okay, guys, please don't focus on the burst fire that I was on. I still just shot one bullet, okay? Don't yeah, worry that on, I was on burst on. fire. Okay, so now he's going to shoot me with the MK-18. So this gun does the same, except if I use burst, I'm doing 78 times 3, okay? But I want, him to sh uh, I want to shoot him to put, to put this armor on, put the bulletproof armor on. Oh, no, I'll put the bulletproof armor on. Okay, wait, yeah. shoot. Let's just see if there's, if there's... if I think it's the same damage, but let's make sure it's the same damage. Shoot me in the chest. I haven't, I haven't got armor on. One shot in the chest. Okay. 78, guys. It's the same. Yeah. It's same. the same. Okay. So the only difference that we're going to probably have is um, on the AK. The VHS is new. I highly doubt the VHS is going to do more damage, but I'm going to lie down quickly and we will be back with you guys now. You shoot me first. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot you first. Okay, guys, so we are going to test it now with the armor, okay? Like I say, um, just pure damage output, you know? I'm going to use the VSS, but we are going to do some range tests as well, okay? Because people don't usually fight at this distance. We're going to test it at 100 meters and 200 meters where people usually fight, okay? So I'm going to shoot him with one... Um, I'm just going to go straight armor piercing, guys. Let's just go straight armor piercing and see what see what happens here. Um, there we go. One armor piercing round. And I am on single shot. Okay. So one you were at a hundred health, eh? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Seventy one. So you only took twenty eight. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Okay. See C3 injury. Okay, that was 29, guys. With the VSS, it was only 8. So that is four and a half times more penetration. Okay? It's got four and a half times more penetration. 
And then when he shot me with a tactical, which I've got on now, we only got one damage. Okay, we only received one damage. So let's see if we again, according to me, I'm going to receive five damage now. According to me. Okay, so armor piercing round, eh, Toro? Yeah. Okay, shoot me in the chest, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> so now it's the same, guys. Now it's the same. You you had how much the health left, Toro? Uh, 72. You took me 28. 28. Okay, it's rough. Okay, the tactical is still protecting us a little bit more, but now it's getting closer. Now it's getting closer, guys. So that was uh, 20, you know, that was like uh, 24 damage. Okay, 25 damage. Which is still, I, I said it's going to be four and a half. Eight times four and a half, okay, is a lot more. Or did I say three and a half? I think I said three and a half. But in any case, guys, so the penetration is more. So when it comes to an AR, of course, over a distance, you're going to have damage reduction as well. But when it comes to close range, you don't have to aim for the head and the legs. You can basically just spray, spray the guy and if you hit him more than six times, even if he's got five constitution and a tactical vest, you're still going to kill him, okay? So this is where the AR's value comes in. But if you only shoot for the legs and the head, the VSS is just better overall because it comes with a suppressor and the rate of fire is higher, okay? So very nice, very nice. The you know, the, the vest, the armor is getting, the armor's effectiveness is getting less and less you know, the high caliber, caliber rounds we're using. We know pistols are useless, SMGs are basically useless, and VSSs and ASVALs are basically useless against tactical armor. But now the tactical armor is getting penetrated, which is good. Which is good. I'm not saying it's realistic. I'm just saying it's good. Okay? And just to, guys, yes, this is my favorite gun at the moment. Let's just see if there's any difference. How, many, how much health you got, um, buddy? Hundred. Hundred health. Okay, take off your armor. Let's just see if this gun does more damage. Okay, de equip the gun. You got a hundred health, eh? So yep. the only way that this gun is gonna be worth it for me, guys, because I do feel the recoil is a bit bad. Okay, it's a bit worse. So the only reason that we want to use this gun, I want to use it because it looks cool, but it has to do more than eighty damage for it to be anything special. Oh, it took 80. Nope, it's not special, guys. It's not special. Now, I'm going to... I've still got the tactical armor on. Shoot me with this gun to see if there's any difference, um, Tor. Yeah. And just... You don't have to lie down. Myself. Yeah, you don't have to lie down. Just no, pick, no, no, no. Pick, pick up the VHS. Shoot me in the chest. And let's see if there's any difference. Fifty-six, go. Uh, hold on, I need ammo. One armor uh, piercing round. One armor piercing round. Piercing. Chest. Yeah. Fifty-four. Fifty-four to thirty-two is twenty-two damage. So no, no. There's nothing special about the VHS. There is something special about the SF-19, but there is nothing special about the VS, uh, VHS, okay? So all the, all the ARs do exactly the same damage, but the penetration, okay, gets better. And it's probably going to get even better when we get to the AKs, okay? So let's just heal, repair everything. We'll be back with you guys now. Ladies and gentlemen, here we come to the big boys. The big boys of the ARs. Let's see if there's any king. Can we crown a king? We are probably going to crown a king. We're probably going to crown an AK, guys. If you want my rough estimate, RPK wins all day. But we have to take other things into consideration, which we will. Okay? Which you will see at the end of the video. So... Um, Taurus gonna shoot me in the chest with the AKSU. Let's see what the damage is. No armor, guys. I've got no armor on. Okay. 
that's 57 damage and a C4 bleeding marker, guys. 57 damage and a C4 bleeding marker. That is less than a VSS. Yep. Okay, wait, that wasn't in the chest. That was Where in was the it? lower abdomen. I don't know if that makes a difference. Give me your Did gun, you let me shoot you in the chest. The bullets on the ground. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna shoot him in the chest, guys. Mine was 57. Let's see how much is this. Well, I have the tactical jacket on me. You had only a t shirt. No, no, take armor off. No armor. There's no armor, it's just a tactical jacket. Okay, okay, that's fine. Three, two, one. Yeah, same. 57. 57. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Luckily, we know it doesn't matter where you shoot him in the, you know, in the chest area. It's the same damage. But, um, just inject yourself, Toro. Very, very important, guys. That is a lot less damage than an AR and a VSS. Very important to take that into consideration. Just because the word starts with AK doesn't mean it's got punch power. Okay. Well, so, that's the baby AK. Yeah, that's the baby AK. But the baby AK is losing to almost everything. <laughs> We're learning something as well. Kind of. <laughs> um, so let's see what the big boy AKs do after we've healed. One. Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, we have got the two big boys right here. We've got the AK-15 and we've got the RPK. Now, this gun, he looks exactly the same as an AK-47, okay? Since we saw there were no damage differences with the ARs, okay? I don't feel there's going to be any damage difference between an AK um, the, or the AK ranges, okay? Um, I feel the RPK is going to do the same damage as, an, as all the AK guns. But I don't know about the AK-50, okay? So, I'm going to shoot him in the chest once with an AK. 15 and he's going to shoot me in the chest once with an RPK with normal rounds. Okay, so let's see. take my gun off. Okay, oh, that's 95. 95 Jeez. eject, eject, eject. Jesus, <laughs> okay, Three, ladies and gentlemen. Two, one. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. That was, uh, you, if you don't have a tear, you're done. Yeah. So, or you can have five constitution. That will help you as well. But I don't think anyone's going to shoot you with a single round. So, <laughs> raw damage. Raw damage. The AK-15 and the AKs are going to win. For me. Okay. Now, he's going to shoot me in the chest with a single round from the RPK. Taking hands. Let me check the fire rate. One round. Okay. Okay. One, one shot in the chest. Ninety-four. Yep. Five percent health, guys. Five percent health. Yep. Inject. <laughs> Two C fours, guys. Two C fours with one AK bullet. So, there's no discussion about that. Raw damage, you want an AK-15 or an AK-47 or an RPK or something like that, okay? But we don't know the penetration, but I still feel the penetration is going to be more. And probably with an armor-piercing round, it's going to be more damage, guys, but not a lot more, okay? But the, the purpose of this video is to show you the projectile guide and to tell you what AR is the best. And we don't need to think about it. The AKs are the best. But the RPK wins by a mile. And if none of you knows the answer to that, then I don't know why. But the reason the RPK wins is because you can have a, you can have a drum magazine on the AK as well. But, you know, the RPK wins because it can shoot 75 rounds so the AK not on, 
AK-15 doesn't do no. drums. Yes. So the AK is actually the the worst option, okay? But the thing is, the AK-15 does have an advantage because you don't need a rail on an AK-15. You do need a rail yep. on, on an AK and an RPK, okay? And it looks cool, but still, if you're looking for raw damage power, then an AK-47 and an RPK with a drum magazine wins by a mile. But we are going to end the video with something else that you need to think about, okay? Instead of just raw damage power. So now we're going to see the penetration quickly. And he's got, I'm no, I'm no, I don't need to f test the RPK, guys. Or I don't need to test the AK-15, okay? He's going to shoot me once in the chest with a tactical vest on, okay? Yeah, well, I put uh, armor AP. Okay. Or should I use the normal ones? No, no, no. Use the, use the armor piercing. Okay, once in the chest, brother. That is 30 damage, guys. So that oh. is the most penetration. And remember, this is a tactical vest, not a bulletproof vest. So a bulletproof vest will hurt even more. Okay? So with the best vest in the game, four shots going to kill anyone, even if they've got five constitution. Four shots will kill anyone. So clearly that wins by a mile. And now we're going to do... We're just going to do one test. No, we're going to do three tests at 100 meters and three tests at 200 meters. The test that we're going to do is how much damage re reduction is there on AS Val. We're not going to test an AES Val and a VSS. We're going to test one AS Val, one MK18, and one RPK round at 100 meters and at 200 meters to see... You know, does anyone, any one of those guns have a, have an advantage? We already know close range, the AKs win. But do any of them have an advantage at 100 or 200 meters where most fights will take place? So we'll be back now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, you probably can't even see me standing in front of a target. Okay, most fights will take place 50. I'm standing at the 100 meter mark. He's standing at the 200 meter mark. So this is precisely 100 meters. You can you can hardly see him, guys. You can hardly see him. So most fights will take place between 50 meters to 100 meters. Okay? We are going to do the 200 meter test, but no one really fights at 200 meters. Okay? And it's very difficult. Remember, you've got sideways recoil and up and down recoil. Nobody really fights with an AR at 200 meters, okay? Because most of their bullets are going to miss the target in any case. So most of them, if they see a guy further than 100 meters, they're probably going to want to use a, um, a sniper rifle or they want to get closer to the person. Because if I see a person at this range, I'm not going to think the person knows where I am, especially if he's not looking at me. If he's looking at me, then we go crazy and see who gets lucky. To shoot the other guy okay but at 100 meters you shouldn't have any um bullet drop because most scopes starts range finding at 100 meters so this should be accurate but we have to test it okay so what i'm gonna do now is try and shoot him in the chest with an armor piercing round okay and he needs to tell me if I do hit him in the chest. And you've got no armor on you, eh, buddy? No. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and hit you. Three, two, one. No, do it again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, he took 75 health. C4 injury. Chest. Okay, guys. Even at 100 meters, the the VSA still does a lot of damage. Okay, it went from 80 to 75. That is not a lot. That is not a lot of damage reduction. Okay, at all. So now he's going to hit me with the MK18 in the chest without armor on. Okay, so here we go.
MK18, one armor piercing round at 100 meters. So that is 63 damage. Yep, it was still in the chest, guys. So that is quite a bit of a reduction, which is quite weird. So we went from 80 to 65. But the <laughs> AS Val or the VSS, which are the same, actually did more damage at 100 meters. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't think so. But at the end of the day, a VSS and AS Val is more effective at 100 meters than an AR. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to heal quickly, and then he's going to shoot me with an RPK, which we know does 95 damage, close range, okay? So at the moment, the the VSS and the AS Val beats an AR at 100 meters, which I'm not a gun pro, but it does really make sense to me. Maybe some, you know, maybe some gun gun enthusiast will tell me in the comments why that is, or if it's not realistic. And as soon as I've healed, I'm going to let him shoot me with an RPK from 100 meters. I'll be back now. Okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now for the final one at 100 meters, okay? I'm going to shoot him with an AK-15 because both guns do the same damage, okay? So let's see how much damage reduction there is at 100 meters. Seven, almost 80. Almost 80. C4 injury in the chest. Okay. So, AK still does more damage than a VSS at 100 meters, but the, the VSS beats the AR. Okay. But the AK beats the VSS at 100 meters. Okay. And now I want him to shoot me in the head with an AK. The, the 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 helmet makes no difference guys the this helmet that i'm wearing only helps against low caliber rounds okay does really help against high caliber rounds but i mean this helmet is so bloody cheap you know, most people wear this helmet in any case so i'm going to drop the ak for him and i'm going to drop the armor piercing round for him and then he's going to hit me in the head don't see the gun it's right there in front of you i mean like Oh, it's under the rail. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to hold yeah. control into all your breath, buddy. You're going to have to get this edge. I know. And, uh... Just aim right at the tippy top of my head. Not not above my head, you know, just the edge, top edge of my head. And whenever you're ready, buddy. Let's move a little bit. Okay, stay there. You're dead. <laughs> Yo. Guys, I'm going to move closer to him. Okay, just in case he hit me in the throat. I don't think he hit me in the throat. But that is a lot of damage. That is a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, we were... Can I? We were <laughs> Hold on, if I go near you, I can see where you're hit. Okay, if we look at the previous test, not even the sniper rifles killed you in the head with the helmet on, okay? And now an AK kills you in the head, okay? So clearly a sniper rifle is going to kill you with the headshot. So that is very, very powerful. We're going to do one more test, um, close range, okay? Just to make sure we don't miss and see if there's any difference between the... Um, between the helmets, because previously I told you guys whether you're using the medieval helmet or the biker helmet or the military helmet or the K6 helmet, there was no difference. But let's make sure that that is still the case. And he did hit me in the head. So the revive, the Phoenix Tears is just helping us tremendously, guys, because he did hit us in the head. Okay? He killed us in the head. That was not a that was not a throat shot. So an AK can kill you with one shot from a hundred meters away. With arm, with armor on. With the best helmet in the game. Okay? Just another motivating factor to go for the legs or the head. Okay, it doesn't matter what you're using. 
So we don't need to test that again. Now, guys, if you've got any more questions, leave it down in the comments below. I will test it off camera and answer your questions. Okay. I think we've we've got the winner. The winner is the RPK by a mile. So that's what's going to be in the screenshot. Okay. I'm going to put the RPK in the screenshot so that if you guys ever forget, then you can just look at the thumbnail. The thumbnail is showing you what is the king in every stage. Okay, because it wins with the amount of ammo that you can put in it. It wins with the with the armor penetration. It wins with the most damage. Okay, so it wins with everything. The only thing that you guys need to think about is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So hang on for a sec and let's close this video off. And guys, if you enjoyed this, please just click the like button. And if you want to see every want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button because that's all i do i learn and show you everything there is about this wonderful game so let's get to the final thing that you need to think about instead of just going okay so we're all using AKs. let's answer that question when we're done Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, I have equipped Toro now with the VSS. He's got one full magazine with the VSS. Then he's going to, so he's going to shoot the entire magazine, and you guys will see now why. Then he's going to shoot the entire magazine of an MK-18 on auto, and then he's going to shoot the entire magazine of an AK-15 on auto. Okay? So the last thing that you need to consider and both of us have got advanced rifles, if you guys are wondering. So all the guns are going to be shot with advanced rifles. The recoil is going to be may, way worse with no rifle skill or basic rifle skill or medium rifle skill. But since you guys can start your character with advanced rifles, or you can get to advanced rifles in events very quickly, we're just going to do the test on advanced rifles, okay? But we're going to look at the difference between the three guns. So I have activated projectile and visualization so you guys will see the visualization of the entire spread of the gun and all the guns have only got uh, ammo clip or magazine in them with 30 rounds so all of it's going to be the same so what i told him to do is to start firing at the bottom of the cement and just holding his button he's not going to do any recoil control he's going to start shooting at the bottom hold in his button until the 30 rounds are done and then we just look at the recoil, okay? We're going to see the visualization of it. So, um, Toro, in three, two, one, go. Okay, guys, that's the VSS. Okay, that's the first shot, that's the second shot, that's the third shot, and then looks like it's starting to stabilize there at the top. So it recoils all the way to the top, and then there it doesn't recoil anymore. Okay, but that's a recoil of a VSS without um, recoil control, without him dragging his mouse down as he's shooting. And I would say that's a heck of a lot. Don't know about you guys, okay? That is a heck of a lot. So we have to take that into consideration. Does the VSS do more damage than the AR at 100 meters? Yes. But do we like that kind of recoil? Maybe no. Okay. So we saw that recoil. Now he's going to use the AK, the MK-18 with 5.56 rounds. And he's going to do exactly the same with the full clip. Whenever you're ready. Oh, went off a lot. Yeah, first shot, second shot, third shot, and then it only stabilized there at the top, guys. And you can see the sideways recoil, okay? So the 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 um, vertical recoil was insane. It was like a one, two, three, and then it stayed there, okay? So you can see at a certain point, there isn't recoil anymore. So you have to figure out when you start firing your gun, you need to figure out how far you have to pull your mouse down. To get that recoil under control okay so the mk18 is clearly much worse than the vss so you clearly want the vss rather and now we're going to check the um the ak-15 okay 
Okay, first shot here, second shot there, and then it stabilized there at the top. Okay, and you can see the sideways recoil. We're not only looking at up and down recoil, we're looking at sideways recoil. And he's standing at about the 100 meter mark, guys. This is, he's only shooting 100 meters far, okay? So, that's why I don't like a recoil test there in between the wood, okay? Recoil does not affect you if you're standing 10 meters away from the target, okay? This is how you see recoil. And clearly, at 100 meters, you've got a heck of a lot of recoil, okay? So you have to consider that. So the VSS has got the best recoil, the AR has got the second best, and the AK has got the worst. Does that, will that recoil improve with higher strength and higher rifle skill? Yes. If you keep doing events, even if you start with advanced rifles, you can level up the rifles to advanced plus, which will help you a lot. And as it clearly states here, okay, with strength, it says influences carry weight, melee damage, and calorie calorie burning, okay? Um, but it will influence your recoil as well, okay? It doesn't say it influences the recoil, but it will, okay? It does influence the recoil. And clearly it states here, um, rifle skill influences the recoil, okay? So that's what you guys have to focus on. And that's why I say, if you, shooting a guy at 200 meters away, guys, with an AR on auto is insane. The only way you do that reliably, and that's how I catch cheaters, the only way you die to do that reliably is with a recoil script where you've got no recoil. Okay, so when I see a person shooting another person with the, with the trajectory lines and it's just one solid line, then I know I don't care if he's the best recoil controller in the world, he's got a recoil script and then he's, uh, uh, then he's not in, on my server anymore. So, yeah. guys, because the recoil is the same roughly, okay, it, it's difficult to handle no matter what. Of course, the VSS was the best. So in my opinion, on 100 meters, you probably want the VSS. But then you're going to have to aim for the legs or the head. And then the AK wins by a mile. So even with this, you can make up your own mind. You can try and control the recoil with the VSS and an AR and an AK. See which one you prefer. Okay? And then make up your mind. But I think this test is done. And in my opinion... Yeah. Can I test uh, this once by standing in prone position? I'm going to test the S file, see how the recoil is. Lying down or just crouched? Lying down. Lying down. Okay, go. Roughly the same, brother. Roughly the same. Okay. And he was lying down, guys. He wasn't even crouched. He was lying down, okay? Yeah. Which is the most ability you can have. So you're still going to... Now, buddy, try it with recoil control. Like you will like you will try and kill someone. So say the person is, is in between the 200-meter mark and the grass, okay? And you're trying to shoot him in the chest, and you're trying to re uh, control the recoil. So you want to kill the guy. So control your recoil while you're firing. Try and keep keep the bullets in one spot. I have no more bullets. I'll, I'll load the MK18. Okay. All right. Can I shoot now? Yeah, I, I Toro, you're not a PvP pro, eh? Mm, not quite. Why? Okay, so Toro is the average person on a server, guys. Okay, so if you're average, then this is what the recoil looks like when you try and control it. Okay, so I should. Yep. <laughs> okay. Tara, I don't laugh at you. This is just science, okay? Um, this is what the recoil looks like when you try to control it, guys, at 100 meters. And that's why I say going and standing there at the targets, the way the devs, nothing is the devs, nothing is anyone else that did a recoil video, but looking at the projectile lines from 10 meters away, does not show you what recoil does, okay? Testing it at 100 meters shows you what recoil does. And if you guys want to see 
how bad Matthias looks because it's going to be unfair that we see what Toro, you know, what Toro recoil control looks like and we don't see what my recoil control looks like. So let me run there quickly and then Toro, okay, wait. Toro won't be able to see it. Okay, I'll fire, guys, and then I'll run closer. I'll fire and I'll run closer. I'll be back now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just so that you can have a chuckle at me as well, okay? All of you know I'm not a PvP pro. So let's see this, okay? I've got 30 rounds. There's the target. Let's, okay, I just want to make sure I'm on auto. There's the target. I want to try and kill him. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That it is. is. Bad. That is bad, guys. That is bad. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next time you empty a clip on a person at 100 meters and you go like, how on earth did it die? That's how. Only one bullet hit him. If anything hit him. <laughs> First okay. bullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'm not going to upload two videos today because I still have to upload, edit, and upload this video. So I'll bring you guys the sniper projectile guide as soon as possible. Love all of you. Thank you all for the support and see you later. And again, thank you to Toro for helping us today and helping us on every single stream so that we're not lost in space. Cheers, guys. <laughs> bye bye. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, for anyone who never liked the M16 because it doesn't have auto fire, okay, for anyone who didn't like the M16 because it doesn't have auto fire, let's see what the tires looks like when he's using the M16 with burst fire instead of auto fire. Now you guys know why Lutai's likes an M16. Have a great day, guys. Cheers. <laughs>